kit routine. I've just built all these moves in, so I'm always doing them. So I've never really done this particular workout because I, I do it all week long. So there's no sense in doing it again individually. But you could try it. It's a great starting point for someone who hasn't exercised for a long time. So let's take a look. Here are the 10 bulletproof moves. And I'll read them off because it might be a little bit blurry on there. Basically, we're looking at down and up. You know, let, I'll, let me read one and then demonstrate it. If we can maybe go back and forth. You guys try. I'm just going to do it. Um, so down and up is how important is it to be able to get up from the ground? I mean, it's a huge life needed skill. And there's lots of ways to practice it. But the most basic, maybe you'll take a chair as a beginner, OK? And you're going to get down on a knee, down on the other knee, OK? And then back up. That's down and up. Down, up. OK, if you're intermediate, you can abandon the chair. Let me get this out of the way. OK, and that's just going to be a, a quicker version. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Down or up, OK? If you're advanced, maybe you start on your knees, and you want to be able to throw yourself up like that. Down and up like that, over and over and over. Not doing a lot more of those. <laughs> but it is an exercise I do quite a bit now. I really believe in it as I progressed. But I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who hasn't gone through the progression. So next one is sprinting in place. Easy to demonstrate. I got my mic, so it's jogging a little bit on there. but. Just want to move with a good sprinting motion in place. The ability to sprint is a useful skill in life. Maybe you've got to run for your life someday. You don't like sprinting. You can't sprint. You've got all kinds of injuries and problems. You can jog, and you'll work your way up. And there's lots of methods to do that. Or you can march. And for those of you who can't march, you can just shuffle. It's still part of sprinting. Stop demanding perfection, and you'll actually start making progress. It can be a big change in your thinking. OK, next, lateral slides. How many exercise routines do we do that involve lateral slides, um, or lateral movement? Almost none. Weightlifting or you know, jump ropes or even jogging. You never move side to side. Yet in life, there's a lot of incidents where you have to move side to side, get out of the way, or if you're trying to grab something. So you want moves that take you side to side. And you want to use those muscles actively. So that needs to be practiced. Okay? And if you're a beginner, maybe you're just this. Just move side to side. Get used to it again. Get your body comfortable. You're increasing so many muscle groups that could really make a difference if you face a challenge. Okay? Intermediate, maybe you're just gliding along a little bit. Probably can't go much faster on the advance because I got too small a platform. But you get the idea. Okay? Side to side. Shoulder extensions. Basically, you could use, I don't have a good place to demonstrate this, and I don't have a resistance band, but that's really just using some sort of extension on your shoulder. You can use a door. You want to just get full extension so you don't pull your shoulder out if it ever gets caught. It happens all the time to people. Okay? They get turned around, or they start to fall and grab something. You want those shoulders strong and supple and able to move. Okay? The, I'm going to skip the, uh, actually, I'll demo it real quick, but I'm not going to spend much time on it. The Russian twist we talked about in uh, our strength circuits, you're going to basically pick up a book or a weight, and you're going to go side to side. That's advanced. Okay, Intermediate, you're going to go side to side with your feet down. And beginner, maybe you're just going to move a little bit. Okay, Maybe you even have to put something behind your back. Whatever lets you do the workout without risking injury, keeps you comfortable, you'll improve. Okay, We've got a dive bomber push-up. Dive bomber push-ups. Um, we demo those in our strength circuit also. It's a push-up where you're doing yoga, downward dog, into cobra, and back up into downward dog. Again, if you can't do that, you could do some version on your knees. Okay? And if you don't want to go on the floor, you could use a wall. It's probably a lot safer. But maybe some version of a push-up on a chair or something stable. Something stable to give you that upper body strength and movement. And if you can do the arch, you're going to get a lot more mobility. Um, log roll, we want to get to the ability where we can do a forward roll and a backward roll. Because isn't that falling? Last I checked, it generally is. But we don't start there. So if this can work with my mic, log roll is really nothing more than you're on your back. And you just use your core. Don't use your arms. 
core, roll over, okay, roll back. And you'll want to do that with increasing speed. And once you get good at that, maybe start working on something forward and backward. If you cannot get on the ground, now I lost my connection altogether. If you cannot get on the ground, then what you want to do is again with a chair, maybe you're just turning this way, turning that way. Just start to get your body doing those movements that replicate what could really happen to you in life, and it'll be ready if it happens. Okay, um, we've got acceleration and deceleration. Basically, you want to be able to stop on a dime while you're moving quickly. Let's say you're, you know, you're stuck on the ice, and you want to stop yourself. You want to come in, stop. You got to be able to stop your body quickly at big speed. I can't really demo it as well as I'd like to. And same thing for backwards. So you go backwards, and you want to be able to turn. You want to just be able to accelerate and decelerate, okay? Not a move you have to start out with, but you could be walking back and then just stop kind of abruptly. Stop kind of abruptly. You know, jam your knees a little bit without risking injury, okay? Let me show it again. Jam your knees, but don't risk injury. Let them sink in. Can you stop? Good thing to practice. Use it in life all the time. You probably don't even realize it. When problems happen, you start slipping or tripping. Okay, we've got hip raises where you're on your back. Okay, this one's fairly simple. You just start getting your hips up very soon. Okay, now we lift the arm. So I think you've seen tonight, really going to impact your balance. Dramatic impact on your balance. So you want to work on your hips all you can and get them flexible, get them strong. And then finally, we've got explosive jumps. And I would like to take a moment and demonstrate an explosive jump for a beginner. Okay, get your whole body involved. So you swing your arms. There it is. You just saw it. That's a beginner explosive jump. Okay, you're gonna think about touching the ceiling and you're just gonna let your body go. Intermediate, you're gonna kinda go and get off the ground, okay? Again, I'm bringing my arms, my hips, everything's into it, get off the ground, okay? Advanced, if you watch my other workout, I did it as an example. I always start with it because it loosens up so many parts of your body. And advanced, you're gonna be coming back and you're gonna explode. Okay, you really, ah, killing me. You're going to explode into your jump, okay? So you want to get great height and full explosiveness, but that's for advanced and certainly nothing you need to rush into. So those are the 10 bulletproof moves. The way the workout works is you pick five. You pick five, and let's go back to the description, and we're going to do um, five, cir five circuits of all five moves. So we're, I'm going to do one to show you, okay? And then and it's basically we're gonna do up and down. So you're gonna do like three of each. Up, up, down. Let's do two of each because we don't have time. Two of each, up, up, down, down. The next move on there is sprint in place, maybe 10 steps. Go right into that. Then we're gonna do lateral slides. Let's go two each way. One, two. That's three moves. Okay, our fourth move in the example I've got here, we're gonna do hip raises. Let's say we can't get on the floor. We're just going to hip raise, hip raise, hip raise, hip raise, and then we're going to do explosive jumps. We're intermediate, so one, two. Now, we're going to make it into a little exercise. To recover, we're going to move in place. So we're going to keep going for 30 seconds. So that is one circuit. You just saw it. 29, 30, and we're going to do up, down. If you can't get up and down, then what you'll do, maybe you move up on a step. This is a nice alternative. You can't you usually step up and step down. Let me show it again. Up and down. Move up so you don't hurt your knees. Adjust it to what you can handle. Move through all five. Rest for 30. I mean, it's a recovery set of slow movement, which can literally be walking for 30 seconds. You want to work on your balance, folks. You want to take these studies very seriously. You don't want to ignore them. Either way, you don't want to ignore it because they're too hard, and you don't want to ignore them because you're in such good shape that you don't need them. Because let me tell you, at age 52, it's a lot different than when you were 30 years old, and you don't want to take any bodily movements and skills and athleticism for granted. Because if you do not use it, you will absolutely lose it. However, just the other side, as I said again, if you use it too hard, you're sure to lose it. So take a crack at the Live Longer routine and see what you think about it. Cause we'll put it up on the uh, website. Check out our website 
at easytimingdiet.com. And I can't thank you enough for joining us. I want to thank the Marine Com uh, Community Center for the facilities, my fantastic crew, which is v <laughs> Vita Flores and Maya Cooper. Thank you so much for all your help. And I will definitely look forward to seeing you folks next time where we will cover more of the amazing opportunities for you for weight loss, fitness, and an amazing relationship with food with eating and exercise timing. We'll see you next time.